This project, which in country is referred to as Semillas Digitales, which means digital seeds, is made possible through the CISA group, which is run by the Baltadano family, a prominent family in Nicaragua, who also happen to be fourth generation Penn alumni. This initiative was born through a web of relationships. So earlier work that I've done uh, in Latin America, somehow through that, one of the Baltadanos approached me and asked if I would basically as a, give a consulting opinion uh, on a one laptop per child model in their rural schools. So the CISA group has 16 adopted schools and they wanted to pilot the provision of laptops to students in one of those schools. My advice was actually to significantly innovate the one laptop per child model so that we could build something that actually fits where the model of education is really based on a critical integration of technology into the schools rather than technology as an add-on. Go going into a project of, of this sort without any sort of personal experience myself, I was a little unsure of how the students and the community and the teachers would react to, to the, the, the imposition, I guess, of, of, of technology on education. And I was very pleasantly surprised on how well received the computers were, how curious the kids were about learning these computers, about going to school, about education in general. And they really became a catalyst for, for more engagement, for more excitement around education. Another piece of the initiative in Nicaragua is evaluation and assessment. How do we assess student learning, teacher learning, skills development around a variety of indices that we've developed? So student critical thinking, collaborative work, teachers taking an inquiry stance on their teaching. What are the different ways that we can help people in country develop their capacity for stellar pedagogy? Some of the key characteristics of this project are its participatory action research approach, its ethnographic component, its alignment with the Ministry of Education standardized curriculum, its the professionalization of teaching, its community involvement and the identification of strategic leaders in the community, its creating an accountability and evaluation project in order to understand in a systematic way what learning is happening for both students and teachers, and it's at its core about capacity building in country, strategic partnerships, and the building of an infrastructure of related parties who are Nicaraguan who can really support an ongoing and even sequential building of this project so that it grows from a strong pilot, from a strong model, into something that can be incorporated in alignment with the Ministry of Education across rural schools in Nicaragua.